you want to learn how to put a boat on a trailer and take one off, stick around. Guys, you may remember that this is whenever I bought the stump boat and the new trailer, and I needed to switch it and put Good Times 2.0 on the new trailer so i was lifting this planning to get this off the trailer and that's how we had it set up originally i didn't like it i felt like it was maybe pulling that out a little bit so i went and bought a brand new strap and i'm going to uh, do it more like a sling and have it back here somewhere like you do on a travel lift but in order to do that i got to pull um these jack stands out and move it for it to about right here and then i don't think i'll have any problem uh good times if og had a place where it told you to put the strap obviously the smaller boats don't have that but so that's what we're going to get done okay guys i want to show you how i would normally get a boat off of a trailer there's many different ways but this is how i do it notice in the front there how to jack i've got it all the way on the ground that raises the back of the boat up as far as you can get it so that you can start putting in these jack stands. And the jack stands further lift the aft section up. And then depending on your system, I have the hoist here, but you could use jack stands to lift the front section up. So watch what we're gonna do here. You'll notice coming up here, that whenever I jack the front back up, you'll see it, then the boat is being held by the jack stands in the back. Then we'll lift the front, let the back down just a little bit, just to level out where the trailer is so that we can pull it out. You got to be very careful that there's no pressure really on the trailer or else it'll collapse those jack stands it'll pull it over all right nick nice and easy go to your right easy watching that side courtney go to your right hold on i think it's dragging is what it is hang on real slow nick Perfect. Stay out from under it. Well, that's good. Huh? Watch me. Watch. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, we know it'll hold about 6,000 pounds now. So it was interesting to get in it off of there and seeing it hold the entire weight that it's on the lift right now. You know, when you do stuff yourself, you trust it, but you always got it in the back of your mind whether it will hold. So now we needed to take it to one of our boat ramps that are kind of close and then switch to put the boat in the water and then switch to trailers there. So in this video, I'm taking the new trailer with the stump boat, which that's the stump boat, and putting it on the old trailer so that we could drop the engine through that stump boat. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about and haven't seen that video, you can look in the description and I'll put a link to that video. It was pretty fun. Okay guys, now it was time to put the newer trailer under Good Times 2.0. And I got a good shot here, but of course you just take your time lining it up and backing it up. So this dog's in a bad place. As you can see, we're hollering for him to move. 
the jack stands are on each side and the boat's being supported by the lift right now if you didn't have a lift you would have jack stands for it and you would just have to move them and use a jack to hold the boat and then move them based on how many axles you had yeah yep yep so i got it from here i just i want i see and also this can go up and down oh. um yeah but it does need to slide for it boy that's a nice trailer God, yeah it is a nice it's probably worth like you said like what you paid for the boat like this trailer all right so i knew that i needed to move that fort and if you've ever messed with one of these trailers you know you have those u-bolts there the nuts are on top you can see the u-boat there at the bottom and you usually just use loosen them and slide it forward So as you can see guys there about all it is to it is to loosen those nuts and then work it for of course it was stuck a little bit and tighten it back up. That's a foot fort. Now we'll back the trailer up. So guys, as you can see, the new boat, Good Times 2.0, is now being set down on the new trailer. What I do is I let the jack stands down a little bit at a time on each side, and then I let down the hoist to start easing the front down. Pretty hot out there. I have to keep taking breaks. Got my sweat rag with me and trying to stay cool because it was still hot. And I think it was probably high 80s that day and you just can't work as long as you'd like but eventually i got that done and uh, had her setting down all the way on the trailer like she should be i hope this video helped you if you ever have to do this if you have any questions leave me a comment if you've not subscribed to the channel how about do that now if you appreciate the video hit that like button we'll see y'all soon